Good morning. I'm Vivek, co-founder of Crystal.ai. Welcome to our series on investing basics using AI. Today, I'll be covering the topic of behavioral finance and how AI can help us avoid some of the errors that human investors make. Warren Buffett has said, you don't need IQ to be a successful investor. What you need is the ability to control urges that got others into trouble. Behavioral finance looks at the influence of psychology on the behavior of investors and why investors are not always rational. While investing, our decisions are often determined by intuition, which seems to be the most effortless option available to us. I just go by gut instinct or stock tips that sound good. Or by emotion, I take more risk when you're happy and become bearish when you're depressed. Or by social influence, i.e. depends on who you met and when and what the person told you. All these result in incorrect decision making. A lot of research has been done on this very important topic and three Nobel Prizes awarded just in the last 20 years. To invest efficiently, you need a process that you follow every time and diligently. Don't just think of profits, but also plan for losses. Computers, and specifically AI, does this extremely well. Today, I'm going to look at two examples of behavioral finance that are easier to explain and understand by everyone. One is loss aversion, and the other is overconfidence. Everyone loves to make profits and avoid losses that make you unhappy. Researchers have tried to understand exactly how unhappy losses make you. It seems that the unhappiness caused by a 10% loss is 2.25 times the happiness caused by the same 10% profit. So it's important to diversify and have some hedges in place to prevent losses. Also, you have a diminishing sensitivity to losses. When your position first turns negative, you may be looking at the market every five to 10 minutes. However, once the losses increase, you might stop looking at the app or the screen altogether. This can cause some serious damage to your portfolio that you may find it difficult to recover from. Investors also don't look at the overall portfolio, but at individual investments and how each one is performing. Please always look at and make decisions in terms of the overall portfolio and not on individual investments. Finally, investors feel that they have a real loss only when the investment is sold. So even if they don't really like the investment or circumstances may have changed, they still hate to sell it. How does one avoid all the examples I've given? By deciding a strategy before starting to invest, be it a stop loss, or a diversified portfolio, and then by monitoring continuously all the time. Coming to overconfidence, it's very easy to understand since all of us have suffered it from time to time. Overconfidence means believing you're better than you actually are. What are the things that cause overconfidence in financial markets? One is self-attribution. When you have a profit, you feel it's because of your own intelligence or skill set. For losses, you find it easy to blame others and unpredictable factors. For example, the coronavirus. Then there's confirmation bias, i.e. paying more attention to views that confirm your own view, rather than those that disagree or may conflict with your view. Hindsight means believing you knew how things were going to turn out after they've already happened. In this case, you forget the things that you were wrong about or you remember them incorrectly. Finally, there's a home bias, i.e. investing in securities or markets that you're familiar with. Thus, you may end up investing only in Hong Kong, even though there are very limited investment choices here. Also, you can lose your job and your money if Hong Kong suffers from a deep recession. You don't get the benefits of diversification by following a home bias. How many of these do you suffer from? Fortunately, algorithms do not suffer from any. And as a result, the advice that you get will be rational and not based on intuition or emotion. 
The Crystal.ai algorithm has a portfolio approach to investing, i.e. investments are diversified and there's periodic rebalancing. We hope you can join us for our next video. Meanwhile, do sign up on our app and get a practical demonstration of the advice our AI algorithm has for your investments. See the link below. Thank you.